What's up, y'all? This is Henny. And I know you're thinking, man, the color's looking a little fady fady today. Not anymore. See how I did that? Took it back off. See? <laughs> and right back to you. Today, I'm trying to show you how to get your custom filters in LumaFusion. Be able how to create them, be able how to you know customize them, as well as using different apps to create those lookup tables or what they call LUTs, a lot of people understand as filters over your video to get the best looking video for your social media platforms. At the end of the day, I wanna make sure you get the best looking videos for yourself, along with a little help from your boy boy. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm not making this long today. God, let's go. <laughs> The business, the business. Okay, so today I want to do a little differently. Make sure you guys can really see the quality of what's going on on the iPad. I'm actually doing the screen record on the iPad. So let's take a look. I'm going in here and uh, let's start back up Luma Fusion. So from that last intro video, I took a screen grab. And if you don't know how to take a screen grab in LumaFusion, let me show you how to do it. You go here and you tap this arrow button to where it says share. And you come down to where it says snapshot and you just take a snapshot. And it'll automatically be uploaded to your photos. Because the main thing you want to do when you're first trying to get your color right is to have an actual picture that you can edit from to see how you like it and then save that as a preset or bring it into another app, configure it a whole nother way and then save that as a LUT. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now I have this screen grab in LumaFusion that I just made. So now if I go out of here, you can see right here it's in my photos. Okay, so I've created a screen grab. So I'm gonna go ahead and double tap the timeline and it'll bring up all my you know editing areas that I can edit. I will go into here where it's color effects and you see you already have a lot of options that you can go ahead and create when you're trying to create that custom look. So if I have a pretty well balanced image that I'm using maybe from my video, regardless if like you're using a professional camera or even something like your iPhone, you should be able to find the filters and the ways that you want to be able to create this look based on the apps that are already on the iPad. So, um, you know, you can go over here back to this iPad and you can, you know, adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast, saturation, you know, vibrancy. You see how, you know, I'm just touching these things just a little bit. The contrast, the brightness, you know, uh, the shadows, bring up the shadows a little bit, uh, bring the gamma down up. Really, it's all to taste. It's really all to how you like stuff. Right, bring the hue, you can change the hue color if you want it like a little bit more tinted, you know, if you wanted it a little bit more green. Sometimes it looks really crazy. It's Sometimes it's a lot to do all of that, right? So now I have an image that if I go back up to the top and I uh, hit this eye, you're gonna see the difference of just my little edits that I've done. And I could save that and I could save that and save it as a preset. Now I wanna really show you how to get deep into customizing a LUT. And that's a lookup table. That's where it takes all the, you know, the numbers uh, based off of the colors and the saturation and the vibrance and the hue and all of these things and creates this actual lookup table to create a filter for your images. Now that's what I've done for a lot of the videos that I did. I created a LUT and, um, you know, I imported that back into LumaFusion and then did some other adjustments and then created a whole preset that I'm using uh, from time to time for my videos. So this app that I want to show you is called Affinity Photo. Now full disclaimer, this app is not cheap for an iPad app. It is $19.99, but it's very much the equivalent to something like Photoshop for your iPad. It is extremely powerful. There's so many things that you can do with it. And uh, a lot of people swear by it when it comes to photo editing and stuff like that, when it comes to really professional editing on your iPad, that's Affinity Photo. All the links to all the apps that I'm using will be down in the description. So you bring up Affinity Photo, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this plus button, and I'm gonna import from my photos. 
So it's gonna bring up the screen grab just like it did in LumaFusion. Now there's so many different ways that you can create this lookup table. There's so many different options. Well, let me show you what I'll do. Right here you're gonna create what they call an adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer is gonna be the basis of your lookup table that you're gonna create. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna start all the way down where it says white balance. And you can adjust the white balance just by you know, going back and forth. I'm gonna go here to maybe negative five. One thing I've learned about using Affinity Photo and then bringing up the lookup table or the LUT back into LumaFusion is that sometimes the colors are kind of flipped. So if I really want a warm color, I'm gonna go the opposite. Say I want it, it to be the balance of 10. I'm gonna go up with the balance of negative 10 for my uh, for my color. Now, I got my white balance. I'm gonna go up here and let me go to brightness and contrast. I'm gonna turn up the contrast, maybe 100%. Brightness, like I said, it's all to taste. Go here, maybe check the color balance. You know, if I really wanted it to be more in the red area, like I said, maybe I'll go negative 15. Boom. Um, they have all different types of things that you can really mess with, really get creative and get some really cool looking LUTs. I'm gonna go ahead to curves. And a lot of people like to apply what they call an S curve where you're bringing up some of the, the, you know, you're bringing up some of the dark areas and you're crushing some of the light areas. So what I'm gonna do is just make a few dots here, bring this up just a little bit. Sometimes kind of gives that faded look and then push this out a little bit. Start to create that S, not too much. Maybe you can turn the opacity. When it's done, you can turn the opacity down a little bit. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the vibrance up and bring it, you know, make it very vibrant. And you can continue to keep tweaking it to your heart's content. So after you tweaked it, you like how it looks. You go up here to this top and you go here to export LUT. You can export the LUT. You know, you can name it, you know, hens, YouTube, let, right? Something like that. You're going to keep it as a cube file and uh, you're going to keep the quality wherever it's at. You can bring the quality all the way up. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to create a bigger file. So I hit here and I go to export, put it in my iCloud. Um, and boom, now let me show you how to import the LUT back into LumaFusion. Now I'm back into LumaFusion, I'm gonna double tap the timeline, go back here to colors and effects, and if you see right here, there's this arrow, and I'm gonna tap that and it says import presets and LUTs. I'm gonna go to my iCloud, and uh, let's just bring in the LUT that I just created. And now you can see the big difference that is created. What's really awesome about the LUTs is you have this look, you have this filter, but you can still dial it in. So if I don't want it to be at 100%, I just keep dialing it back until I want something that's what I like. And then on top of that, I can still bring in the original edits. Say I wanted a little bit red, a little bit more red. I'll bring the reds up just a little bit. Maybe I want to bring the contrast up a little bit more. Maybe the brightness up just a little bit more. You see how I'm creating this? Now I've brought in the LUT, I've uh, tweaked the original levels, and um, what I also like to do is I like to add, you know, vignetting or maybe a little bit of soft blackness around the edges. So they have a vignette right here in this tab. As you can tell, that's very dark. All I'll do is take the intensity down and then bring the radius down. And now you're starting to see the look of my videos that I normally have, right? Sometimes I'll add some extra sharpening. Not too much because you don't want it to look too digital, but maybe dial it in, maybe just 20%. And now I have a LUT kind of tweaked with some vignetting and some sharpening all the taste. I'm going to take the sharpening off for this and I'll save that as... A preset so I'll hit that star button say hens YouTube let 2018 boom 
And now when I go to my presets, you'll see here that I have Hens YouTube Blood 2018. Now all I gotta do is tap that button and all of my preset glory is in there looking like it's supposed to. And my mom's calling. Now you know you gotta stop everything when your mama call. Back to it, let's go. So as you can see, that's how I break down getting the LUT from, you know, creating it to editing it the way you want to even adding, you know, the extra things around it to create that look that you're looking for. And I'm showing you, like, there's so many different ways you can edit these LUTs and get creative. Maybe if you want something a little bit darker, a little bit more tealy, a little bit more orange. Take the time to figure out how to make your videos look a little bit more cinematic. It'll make all the difference when it comes to, like, your actual quality of your videos. And then more people will want to, you know, view them just because of the way that they look. You know, the image is everything. The image is everything. So I hope you got something from that. But just in case you don't want to go through all of that work and you just want some looks that are customized for LumaFusion, you know your boy got you. That's what I do. Let me show you what I've created so far. So over the last few days, I've created 10 different looks that'll work well with any footage on LumaFusion. I optimize these looks for when you're shooting with iPhones or iPads because most of the people out there are using their iPads and their iPhones to record their video. So let me show you what these looks look like. Henny's black and white crunch. Henny's chrome polish. Henny's cold winter. Henny's faded grain. Henny's harsh reality. Henny's Kodak summer. Henny's soft sepia. Henny Soft Vibrance, and Henny Standard Vibe. Like I said before, the, the great thing about these LUTs is you can dial them in as much as or as little as you want. So if you only want a little bit, you just kind of slowly bring it in. If you want a lot more of it, you can bring it in as well. You know, I got you. You know where it's at. Right there at my store to be able to purchase, to be able to get those 10 LUTs for your LumaFusion videos. But you know I had to show you how I did it first because a lot of you guys have different ways of being creative and I want you to learn the different ways that these apps can take you to the next level when it comes to your image and the way it looks. Hey man, I'm here for you. That's why I do what I gotta do for you. You feel me? So I was watching a video by this guy named Seth Godin on YouTube and he said something that was really, really awesome and I thought I'd share it with you. He said, my goal is to be trusted in a way that I can make change that I seek to have happen in the world. My goal is to be trusted in a way that I can make change that I seek to have happen in the world. I think that's what, like when it, when it all comes down to it, that's what I'm really trying to do, right? I'm really trying to build trust between you as part of my community and those around the world that are watching. Um, I think a lot of building your brand and building, you know, your social media platform and everything that you do to try to build your career and even your business is about building trust, but building trust in what, you know, I want to build trust in the way that I can actually make a difference for those out there, especially those that are young, trying to figure out exactly, you know, how to get started, or even those who, who are switching careers or pivoting a different way. Like, I want to continuously give good content that's transparent and that is straight to the point, sometimes a little longer, <laughs> long-winded, but you get the point that, you know, when it comes to really building uh, uh, your brand, it's about building trust. It's about building that relationship so that people will say, I can constantly go to him, I can constantly go to her because I trust that they're gonna give me the tools or the guidance or the wisdom or whatever it is that's needed. And so that's what I'm here, man. That's why I do this every week to build trust with you, my community, to be able to say, yo, that dude knows what he's talking about. And I really try to put uh, the effort in to making sure that I know the tips and tricks of getting the best out of the devices and the technology that we're all using today. So that's it, man. That's what I got for you. Hopefully you got something from that. Thank you all for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, you can always hit that button right now.
Or if not, it's cool. You can see me next week, and I might have something for you even better. So uh, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for the comments down below. Thank you for all the engagement that we got going on in this space. Appreciate y'all. See you next week. Hit em